Hello, my third graders. We're back here in our classroom um, for this week's video. I'm gonna go over a couple of things. It's gonna be another workplace. Hopefully you find it just as fun as I do. Um, I wanna talk about a couple of things before I introduce the workplace. I say introduce, um, but you've already done it, so it's even better. Um, I have this week's packet here. Um, it is set up the same way as the last seven weeks of packets that I have sent out. Um, one thing that I want you to be aware of is a couple of activities that may or may not be a little confusing. So the first one is for writing. I'm gonna have you put together a letter to me um, about your favorite animal. Now, I provided a planning page for you. I provided a, it's a, called a web, and let me show you what that looks like really quick. So I created this web for you, okay? Now, you only need three reasons, but I have provided you four bubbles. If you wanna give me four reasons as to why an elephant is your favorite animal, I am totally, kudos to you, give me four reasons. I'm only expecting three. Um, so make sure that you fill in the bubbles, you do the planning page, decide what your favorite animal is, and then from there, you fill in your reasons. And then for every reason, for every bubble, I want a detail or an example to support that. So realistically, you should have three reasons why an elephant's your favorite animal. And then after every reason, give an example of how the elephant is, for instance, for, the elephant is big. So I like it because it's a big animal. Tell me how big is an animal? Research it. Tell me how big can an elephant get? Um, so that's one thing that I wanted to clarify. I did provide an instruction page, but just in case it, the instruction page is a little, eh, then you have that. The next thing is your science activity for the week. Now, last week I did provide you, I believe it was the water cycle page, um, but I'll show you what that's gonna look like. It's gonna look just like this, right? So you have the reading, you have the text, and then you have a picture of the water cycle at the end. I then provided you a blank sheet of paper. The only thing on it is it says assessment at the top because this is something that I wanna get back. Um, you are going to make a one pager, and I know that everybody knows what a one pager is. You're gonna make a one pager of the water cycle. So I do not, and I said this in the instructions as well, I do not want you to just copy the picture at the bottom of your reading, okay? Because it gives you a picture of the water cycle. I want you to create one on your own. You can use something local. You can use the ocean. I don't care as long as it portrays what the water cycle is. So make sure to use your blank paper. I want it to be colorful. I want it to be fun. I want you to have fun doing it. And then I want to see it at the end because I know that it's going to be really awesome. So those are just a couple of things that I wanted to point out. Um, make sure as you go through the packet, make sure that you are taking pictures of the pages that say assessment at the top and then send it my way. Um, so then that way I can give you credit for doing it because I know that you guys are working really hard right now. So give yourselves a big pat on the back because I know that this is not easy on anybody. Give your parents a hug, give auntie and uncle, grandma, grandpa, sister, brother, give them a hug because it's not easy teaching from home, especially when you can't see your teacher and I can't see you. So your parents are doing an awesome job. So give them loves. Um, okay, so today's workplace that I'm going to introduce is 2B. Last week you had 2A, and this is frog jump multiplication. In your packet, I provided you, I believe, five blank pages of what you see behind me, if you can see it behind me. Okay, it's just the frog jump multiplication um, workplace. And then you need dice. Now, the wooden cubes that I sent home last week are your dice. I think you're gonna want one through six. And if you wanna add in four through nine, and if it works, you can, but start with one through six. Um, and then I'll kind of teach you how to play really quickly, more just give you a recap reminder, and then we can go from there. So hopefully, hopefully you can um, see the screen. And I'm hoping that you'll be able to see me also. So to be frog jump. Okay, so you are going to have a die, like that one, okay? Remember how I can do it on the whiteboard? So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna roll the dice. Oh, maybe, 
You know how my board can be. Okay, so I rolled a five. So up here in the where it says blank jumps a blank. So I'm gonna write five, because that's what I rolled. Okay, five jumps of four. So I'll write four in this blank right here. Okay, and I'll try when I'm done, I'll try to zoom in um, for you so that you can see a little closer what this is gonna look like, but I have a feeling most of you are going to remember. Um, so five jumps of four, you make an educated guess, make a prediction. I think that five jumps of four will equal blank. Okay, it does not have to be the right answer. This is just like really quickly give an educated guess. If you know the answer, great. If you don't, great. Make an educated guess, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say, you know what? I think it's gonna land on 20, okay? So my multiplication equation is five times four equals, and we don't know what it equals yet, right? Because we've gotta do our jumps. So then you're gonna come here to the number line. You're gonna start at zero and you're gonna make five jumps of four. Now what that means is one jump of four, two jumps of four, okay? Five whole jumps, and I'll show you, show you what that looks like. So, there we go. There's one jump of four, right? Then we're gonna do another four. Four, if it helps to label, then another four, then another four. And so far, I'm at the number 16, and I've only done four jumps of four, right? So then I'm gonna go ahead and do one more jump of four. All right, so that's five jumps of four. Now, whatever number that you land on is the answer to your multiplication equation. So I landed on the number 20. Now, as you guys have learned, you can count by fives on your fingers, right? But I want you to use the number line. So five, 10, 15, 20. Ooh, I think I, I got it. We're right. So five times four equals 20, okay? That is all that it's gonna look, that is, that is what your page is gonna look like. I'll try to zoom in for you. So you see how up here, right, I wrote five jumps of four. Then I wrote my prediction. I wrote the multiplication equation and then I wrote the answer later, okay? Then I went up here, started at zero, made jumps of four, and another jump of four, another jump of four, okay? I, this is an assessment for the week, so I want to see this. Um, I, like I said, I provided you, I think, five clean pages of this, and each page has, um, I think, three, yours might be different than mine, yours might have four number lines, so four different times to roll and play. Um, when you are done, it technically says partners. If you want to recruit somebody to play with you, I am totally on board with that, please do it. Teach a family member how to play this game. It's a lot of fun. Um, but then at the end, you're gonna add all four of your products. Now, if you remember what a product did, uh, is, a product is what the multiplication uh, equation equals, right? So five times four equals 20. 20 is the product. So at the very bottom here, you're gonna label what all three of your answers, four of your answers, and you'll add them all together to find the sum. And then you're done and you have five different pages to do that on, so probably about 15 to 20 problems that you can do um, before you run out. And if you want more, just call me, text me. Um, I can try to help in any way that I can. So the workplace is what you're doing this week. Next week, we'll probably do something a little bit different, maybe some fun, um, but I, I personally think this is so much fun. So hopefully you're enjoying it. Um, I know this is really hard on everybody. Stay strong, stay healthy, um, and I'll see you guys soon. I miss you all. Bye, third graders.